So I want to talk a little bit about what we've seen now that the market has shifted because we're seeing that buyer's behavior has changed. And uh, it all comes down to one, one thing. It's the interest rates. Let's be honest. It is the interest rates. So I want to kind of put ourselves in their shoes for a minute and kind of think through why is it changing their behavior so much? Because they were paying over asking. They were paying $5,000 appraisal gaps, $10,000 appraisal gaps, $20,000 appraisal gaps, no closing costs. They were asking you to do no maintenance. They were just bidding on the house and trying to get in. Listen, why? Why were they doing that? Because money was cheap. Listen, when your interest rate is four, four and a half, five percent, that is called cheap money. So they were willing to do that. They were willing to take their cash and get into that house because their payments were going to be low enough that they could handle the maintenance items on their own. They could handle the closing costs on their own because they knew that their payments were going to be low. Well, now it's changed. Now they're not having to do appraisal gaps. They're not having to do um, where they're paying over list price, but their payments have gone up substantially. So as their payments have gone up, what are they worried about? Buying down their uh, rate, home maintenance. They're worried about if their payment is now $2,000 where it was going to be $1,300, $1,400. That's an additional $600 a month that they can no longer do the maintenance items. So we, we want to kind of think, how can we make this better for the buyers? Because if you're, if you're a seller, you've got to think that now. How can I make this a, a partnership? I want to sell, they want to buy, but it's going to take us coming together and working together to accomplish it where, where we were at before. As a seller, you weren't having to think about the buyer. All you were thinking about was yourself, and rightly so. I mean, I'm not blaming you. But now if you want to sell, you've got to be thinking about how can I make this good for them and good for me? And I want you to think one of the ways is closing costs. Because if you're willing to pay closing costs, 5000 10000 in closing costs, they have some cash because we know that because they were using it. So they can take some of their cash, some of your closing costs, and buy their rate down and get it back down to a little bit more normal payment. The other thing you can do is you can take a look at those home maintenance items and take care of those so that that new buyer isn't thinking, oh my goodness, my payment is going to be so high and I'm going to have to do all this work the day I move in. That's a recipe for a buyer to go, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to pass on this house. So let's work together. Let's figure out the best way to help the buyer be able to buy your house because it's not just lowering your price. Now, in some cases that's warranted because you're pricing them at the top of the market and now we're just not quite the top of the market anymore. But there's other things to consider than just the price. So if you want to have a conversation about this, I would love to talk to you.